Hey, what's up guys? Today we're gonna to be checking out the Corsair Sabri RGB Pro Gaming Mouse, and this is gonna be the Champion Series Edition. Now the Champion Series Edition is an upgrade from the previous version, and the previous version was called just the Sabre Pro, but this one's called the Sabre RGB Pro. So one of the main differences are gonna be that this one has RGB lights, and the previous version does not have RGB lights. The price difference between both mice is roughly $5 as of making this video. So if I were you and if you're thinking about getting this mouse, I would rather just fork out the extra five bucks and get the RGB lights because I think the mouse looks a lot nicer with the lights. So when you unbox this mouse, what you're actually gonna get is the mouse of course and a quick start guide and that's pretty much it. So this mouse is used by a lot of professional esports players and they, and they play games games like League of Legends, Counter-Strike, and a few other games out there that have like a big competitive scene, which is gonna be cool because you know this mouse is gonna be pro grade level and its performance is not gonna disappoint. Now in terms of the design language, it does look like a fairly average mouse. It doesn't have anything special or crazy going on. The build quality is pretty good. It feels durable and the materials this mouse is gonna be made of is entirely of a matte finished plastic. The cable is made of a paracord material, which is gonna be very similar to yarn and it is gonna be different from a braided cable. So they do feel kind of similar, but paracord feels a little more light weight and it feels like it just kind of sli slides around on your desk easier than a braided cable. The weight of this mouse is going to be on the lightweight side and it's going to weigh in at 74 grams which is really light for a mouse that's a little longer than most mice out there. Because this mouse is light in weight, you're gonna have much more speed and accuracy and it's gonna be easier to transfer the momentum from your mouse to your hand and be just pretty accurate and make it feel comfortable. Now there are gonna be two primary ways to grip this mouse and the first one is gonna be the claw grip which is where you kinda just grab the mouse from the top and your hand kinda hovers over the top without your palm laying on the back of the mouse. And the other grip style is gonna be the palm grip, which is where you grab your palm and you let it rest on the top of the mouse. This is gonna be how I personally like to use the mouse. However, one thing I didn't like about this mouse with the palm grip is that because the top is made up of entirely of a matte finish, there's really not much grip. And when my hands feel dry, I find that my hand tends to slide to the back of the mouse and I have to keep my uh, palm on the desk. I like it when my mice have a little more grip at the top since I'm a palm grip user and it ju I just like having all of my weight on the mouse, not half on the desk and half on the mouse. Now in terms of how this mouse actually clicks, the left click and the right click, they feel really good and fluid, no complaints there. And one thing to note that I really like about the two clickers is that when you push on the front or the back, it feels like it's equal in pressure, which I like. And here's a little click test for y'all to hear what this mouse actually sounds like when it's in use. Some additional buttons that this mouse has is these two buttons on the side, which is forward and back click by default. And then you have on the top center of the mouse here, you have a DPI switcher. So when you push that, you're gonna see lights that light up on the side of the mouse and that shows what the DPI speed is at. And then you're just gonna have your standard scroll wheel, left click, right click, and the scroll wheel also clicks in. And with the additional buttons, you can customize them to do whatever you want using the Corsair IQ software. What you can do in the software is adjust the DPI settings, change the RGB light colors for different profiles or mouse speed settings, adjust the polling rate speed, which is how sensitive the laser is on the mouse, or you can rebind some of the mouse buttons to do specific things like like open apps or type a sequence of keys. So if you are considering getting this mouse, the main selling points are gonna be that it is a competitive gaming mouse, which means the performance is never gonna 
disappoint. You also get great build quality, especially with the left click and right click. The clicks are always consistent. You don't have to apply a different amount of pressure and that really helps with the competitive gamers out there. This mouse was also released with the Corsair K70 keyboard and this is the Champion Series Edition and so is the mouse. So they released both of these products together with the intent that would, they would be kind of used together. If you want to know more about this keyboard, check out my link down in the description below. And I'm also going to leave a link to where you can purchase this Rocat mouse. So check that out on Amazon if you are interested on some of the specs or details. And with that being said, I'd really appreciate it if you liked this video and left a comment down below. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.